to the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time that we are about to spend with your word. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to gather here again and study your word. Lord, let it be everything of you spoken, everything of you revealed, Lord. And Lord, you speak to us, you reveal us. You make this teaching extremely simple and easy so that we may understand your word and we can apply the same word in our lives. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful day, Lord, that we can spend with your word. Because, Lord, every moment, every second, every fraction of a second, Lord, matters. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to be victorious in our day-to-day -day lives. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to be victorious, prosperous, successful. You have given us your word. And, Lord, your word says that it is this truth that sets us free. Lord, it is you who's giving us freedom, liberty, freedom. It is you who's setting us free, free from every bondage, free from every slavery. Because, Lord, you are the God of love. You are the God of forgiveness. And you are the God of hope. Thank you, Lord, for uh, helping us gather. Thank you, Lord, even being in different parts of the globe, we can gather, Lord, and study your word. And we are in one accord with the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray above Father, believing that you have answered us. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. So, praise you, Jesus. Praise God. Okay. So, what we were seeing yesterday, what we were studying, On um, 1 John 4, 18. 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. Yes. What does 1 John 4, 18 say? There is no fear in love. And yeah. perfect fear has, because fear has torment in it, and perfect love casts out fear. And those who fear are not made perfect in love. Yes. Yes, praise God. Yeah, this actually, if you see 1 John 4, 18 is speaking about uh, how there is fear in torment. Okay, and it is this fear, there is no fear in perfect love. So we saw what is the meaning of the word perfect love. What is the meaning of that word perfect love? Decision to love. No. Agape love, it's unconditional. Yeah, agape love, unconditional, the God kind of love. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Someone is saying, uh, we saw the difference between uh, shame and guilt. Guilt leads to shame. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Praise God. What else did we see? Um, Romans 8, 17, how we are joined as with Christ. Romans 8, 17, yes. Romans 8, 15, yes. You saw that also. Yeah, praise God. Okay. And also the heart of man and heart of God. Heart of man, heart of God. We saw, when I come to the understanding of the love of God, that sets me free from fear and torment. Okay, let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 16. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 16. Sixteen to seventeen. Praise God. 
Just put the whole chapter in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Put KGV, KGV. Praise you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, verse number 16. Sixteen. Okay, see this. Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he will become a new creature. All things will pass away. Behold, some things will become new. Yes. He is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Yes, God. Yes. So, what he is saying over here? He is saying, once we understood Christ after the flesh, we understood him through the physical senses. That's why people looked at him through a physical senses. Through the physical senses, he's only a person, a normal man. That's why Paul If you see Paul, when he was Saul, okay, he, if you see, he persecuted Jesus. Why? Because he... Because of the ignorance. You know, just keep your mic on mute. Don't keep on mute. There's disturbance. Okay. Praise God. So, thank you, Jesus. So, why, because why, if you see Saul persecuted Jesus, Saul was looking at Jesus to the flesh because he's saying, who is this person thinking that he is God? He was looking at him as a man, as a normal person. But was he a normal person? If you looked at him to the spirit, you could see that Jesus is the very son of God. So, even Paul, when he was Saul, he also had understanding to the flesh. We all had that understanding to the flesh where we knew it, we knew him through the flesh and not through the spirit. But now he's saying, now that we are born again, we once saw Jesus in flesh and blood, we once knew him in flesh and blood, but now we no longer knew him in flesh and blood, but we know him through the Spirit. And that's why he's going on to say, whoever believes in Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things, not some things, all things are become new. Mm -hmm. This scripture does not say all things will pass away and all things will become new. It says we have already been new. Yes? Yes. Now, do you remember the thief who died next to Jesus? Yes. Yes, the, the one who repented, okay? If you see that thief was the grandfather of Paul, okay? He was the grandfather of Paul, okay? How can you know? Huh? Yeah. Because... Yeah. I was waiting for that question. Because Paul is saying, the old man has passed away and the new man has come. That means the old self has died away. That means who is that? Paul's grandfather. Correct? Oh. No. That's only a, yeah, that, that was what I said. But if you see, this, if you see a person who is new will really believe what I said. Correct? Yes. 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 That is not what Paul is speaking about. Paul is saying... Not through the physical sense, not through my physical, you know, physical matters, but it is through the spirit that I am a new creature. All things are passed away. I'm died. I'm crucified with Christ, not in the physical, but in the spirit. Are you understanding? Yes. Now, if you say Paul did not see Jesus in flesh and blood, maybe he saw, but he never had any connection with Jesus in flesh and blood. But if you see, he got more revelation than all the other disciples. Am I right? 
yes can you just go to that uh, scripture 1 corinthians chapter 15 verse 9 i think that is 1 corinthians chapter 15 verse 9 somebody was moving my arrow press cut one Corinthians chapter fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, fifteen. And then nine verse number nine and ten. Just click the whole chapter, you know. Okay, nine to ten. Yeah. See this. Can you just make it a bit bigger, you know? If possible. Yeah, what is God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, by the time I leave, praise God. Yeah. Okay, six. For I am least, I am the least of the apostles. That I'm not meet to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, than all the disciples, than all the apostles. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Now, if you see, in the ninth verse, he's speaking about himself through the flesh. But in the tenth verse, he's speaking about himself through the spirit. In the flesh, he looked at what he does not qualify to be an apostle as he persecuted the whole, you know, church of God. But through the spirit, it is because of the grace of God, God's strength, and God's ability that is bestowed upon him. And that's why now he is the apostle. And he's saying here, I labored more abundantly than all the other apostles. And I got more fruit than all the other apostles. And, and this is, and this fruit is not of myself. This fruit is by the grace of God. That's why he's saying, by grace of God, I am what I am because I do have my own strength and I do have my own ability and I, of course, feel like doing it with my strength. But because of God's grace, which is undeserved, I'm going to do it through his grace. Yes. Are you understanding? Yes. 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 That's why here he's saying, but by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Now, how do we look at a person through the Spirit? How do we look at a person through the Spirit? How we can look at God? Anyone? To the word of God? Yes, the yeah, word. so how to the word of God? By how the, by how the um, word of God speaks about how we should, through love, right? Okay, okay. Let me give you this one example. Example, you are in your school, okay? And in your class, Mate, there is someone who every time comes against you. Anytime there is an incident that happens in the class, which was not your fault, that person is coming against you because that person always hates you. Hmm. Now, when you look at that person, how do you look at that person? That person is blaming out, blaming it on me, even though I did not do it. Yes? Yeah. Yes. But I can look at that same person through the spirit when I'm saying this, it is not this person who's coming against me, but the spirit inside the person that is coming against me. Yes. In the same way, when there is someone who is in hatred or is in bitterness, 
I am able to understand that it is not this person, it is the spirit. And I believe that this spirit is not the demonic spirit. Now that he, I am preaching to him the gospel, now he has received from you, O oh Lord, the spirit of love, the spirit of forgiveness, and the spirit of compassion. That is called what Paul is saying here. By the grace of God, I am what I am. That's how I look at the person to the spirit, not through my physical senses. If I'm going to look through my physical senses, my physical senses are very, very limited. But when I look at him through the faith sense, now when I look at that person through the faith sense, I'm looking at him not through the limited ability of his, but I'm looking at the same person ability of the grace of God that is helping that person and strengthening that person. That's why there are two ways at looking at the person, through the flesh and through the spirit. So are you understanding? Yes. Yes? yes. Yeah. Okay, come back to that 2 Corinthians chapter 5 or 6. You know, don't unmute yourself. Just keep on mute. Praise God. Yeah. Okay, does anyone want to read? Yes, I'll read. Yeah, Jade. Uh, 16 and 17 or just 17? Or 16? 16 and 17. Wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. Yeah, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Now, we all try to understand uh, Christ through the flesh. That's why we, we think this. Uh, you know, I wish I was born at the time of Jesus. Or I wish I would get a vision from Jesus. Correct? Yes. yes. Because our main goal is when I come to the Lord, first thing is I want to feel him. I want to touch him. I want to have the knowledge of him. Yeah. Physical senses. Yeah. But the moment I try to understand through physical senses, I will get a wrong understanding of God because my physical senses are not given to understand God, but to understand physical things. But the spiritual sense is given to me. That is the sense of faith to not understand physical things, but to understand the unseen things, the spiritual things. Now, even though Jesus was born in the flesh, he was born as the son of God in his spirit. spirit. Praise God. Now, we all look at a person. We have all viewed a person through their appearance. Correct? One, one of the big, biggest thing is appearance. When I say physical senses, we look at that person's physical nature, personality, character, and their appearance. Two ways of looking at the person through the flesh. Now, when we look at a person through uh, the appearance, okay, to see example, when um, David was in front of Goliath, okay, how did Goliath look at David? Through the flesh. Through the flesh. Yeah. So, what did he say about David? Bad words. You are only a small boy. I will give you flesh to the birds of the air. Yeah. He said all that. Yes? Yes. yes. What did David say? My God is you with me. Your, your, your armors are nothing against my God. Not those things. Okay. Okay. Now, press card. Anyone else wants to answer that? Um. This is the day that the Lord will deliver 
um you into my hands yeah yes yes now what david replies is david says all this assembly shall know that this day not after 40 days not after a month not after some time this day this day shall the lord deliver you into my hand and all this assembly shall know yes all this yes. assembly shall know the day that day and he saying if you say Goliath was never against david he was never against david actually goliath was against the living god of the israelites that's why he is saying who do you think are to defy the living god of israel actually the armies of the living god yeah the armies of the living god the israel israelites now if you see uh, if you see david david was actually only in his teenage and he never looked as if a soldier you can tell when a person looks at a soldier correct yeah. that person is soldier that person will be strong that person you know all the time exercising every time doing all the things well Scott. Scott. all the time yes 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 but if you see david david was never like that that's why if you see looks are very deceptive because if you see i can look at a person as he is only a, you know that's why how did elia look at his own younger brother as a shepherd who looks after sheep a few sheep now yeah. if yeah. he has a lot of sheep but he considers them as a few sheep yeah praise god that that's how that's how we look at the person to the flesh but if we are going to look at a person to the flesh it is very limited because i will only look at that person through the outside appearance and the nature of that person but i will never look to the spirit yes many times we only look at the outside person the appearance but we don't look into the spirit because who is that person in the spirit if you say david david was not speaking just like that david was speaking with assurance confidence and boldness that's why he could say this day shall the lord deliver you and what did he say to goliath you come to me with a physical sword a physical spear but i come to you in the name of the lord of hosts the god of the armies of israel now if david would have gone and fight with the you know with the spear with the sword with the shield if you see he would have lost the battle and the israelites would be slave to the philistines but he did not go and fight the battle with the physical weapons he went and fight the battle with the name of the lord of hosts and that's why when he fought the battle there was always supernatural results when you say the battle does not belong to me the battle belongs to you the battle belongs to the lord now there will be supernatural results because you are not trying to reach to that level of results by your own strength or by your own ability but you are reaching to that level by the grace of god and that is what paul is saying by the grace of god i am what i am not by my own strength praise god that's why if you see everyone looked at jesus also to the flesh that's why the people said this is the son of a carpenter right mm, yeah. they said this is the son yeah. of a carpenter because they all looked at him through his physical ability but through the spiritual ability he was the son of god that's why when the disciples were looking at him they were astonished even the wind obeys him even the sea obeys him only looking that through the flesh that's why they were amazed yes yes yeah praise god now was paul with jesus no no was peter with jesus yes yes 
Yeah. Who got more revelation? Paul. 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 Of course, Paul, right? Paul wrote most of the Bible himself, correct? Yes. Yeah. Most of the New Testament. Yeah. One quarter of the whole Bible is written by Paul. Yes? Yes. yes. Now, uh, why why did Paul have so so much revelation? Because of the relationship. Because of the relationship to the spirit. You know, can you just mute the audio? There is some disturbance. Okay, yeah. Because he knew Jesus to the spirit. Yeah, because of his understanding of Jesus through the word of God, through the spirit. Now, how do I know what is in the spirit? Through word the word of God. God. It's through word of God. Because can you feel it? No. Can you see your spirit? No. Can you touch it? Just like how many of you see your face? No. No one. Because yeah. you actually can't see your face. You only see the reflection. In the same way, none of us can see the spirit. If the word of God is not there, then we will not know what is in our spirit. If, example, the physical mirror was not invented, now how will you know what is on your face and what is not on your face? Yes. Yes. And because you can't see it. In the same way, we can't feel the spirit. We can't see it. We can't touch it. So that's why God has given us the word that is the spiritual mirror that reflects to us who we are in the spirit. That's why when you see in Luke chapter 4, verse 17, 18, 19, what did Jesus do? Jesus opened the book, opened, you know, in the in the synagogue, he opened the place where it was written about him. He found the place where it was written about him. What was it written? The spirit of the Lord is upon me. My God himself has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. To heal the brokenhearted, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Yes? Yes. Yes. Now, when he was reading this, when he was reading this, okay, he found the place where it was written about him in the word because that word was reflecting who he is in the spirit. Even today, we have to find ourselves what is written about us in the word. The word is saying, by the stripes and the wounds of Jesus, I am healed. The word is saying, I have the mind of Christ. The word of God is saying, I am favored by God and mankind. The word of God is saying, I am blessed with every spiritual blessing. The word of God is saying, I am redeemed from the curse of the law and blessed by every blessing of Abraham. Now, is it reflecting what is already there in the spirit? Yes. But how do we experience? Only when I understand. That's why Jesus understood who he was in the spirit. That's how important understanding of the spirit Understanding to the spirit is important. That's how important it is. Because if I'm only going to try to understand through physical senses, I'm going to get a really wrong understanding of God. Yes. I'll repeat that once again. I will get a really wrong understanding of God. Because the Bible says God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him with the physical senses. No. No. Spirit and no, 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 no. What does the word of God say? In, in spirit and enough, enough, just mute you yourself. There is some kind of disturbance. Yeah. The word of God says. A true worshipper worships God in spirit and in truth. A yeah. true God, those who worship God must worship them in spirit, him in spirit and truth. Can you put that scripture, John 4, 20? John chapter 4, verse 24. Enough, the spelling of John is wrong. It will not show. J-O-H-N. 
See this. God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. That means God is a spirit. God, you know the difference between us and God. What is the difference? We are a physical body. Yeah, and God we is spirit. physical body. That's the only one difference. Otherwise, we are just like God in the spirit. The only difference is we have physical body. That's why God is a spirit. We are also spirit. The devil is also spirit. Demons are also spirit. Demonic angels are spirit. The angels are also spirit. Jesus was a spirit. The Holy Spirit is a spirit. We are spirit. That's why. Can you see? Can you can you can you see the angels around you? Are they there? No. no. Yes. Okay. Now, how many of you are sitting on a chair? I am. Yes. Now, yeah. listen to this. How many of you need faith to see that you are sitting on a chair? No. 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 So then, then why you said no? Because we yes, it is physical. We can see with our physical eyes. But example, is there someone between you, between you and your mother or father? Yes. Who's that? Angels. Angels. Now, how you said angels? You can see the angels. You oh, you can feel the feathers. Okay, you can feel the feathers. <laughs> no. And this is very clear. Who said that? Who said that? Yeah? You, could, you can feel the feathers? Can you feel the feathers? No. Feel the feathers? No. 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 Oh, maybe there is, there, uh, why you're saying there are angels is there might be a plate with the chicken bone in front. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have any physical evidence? Huh? Uh, maybe a uh, a plate with a chicken bone to have eaten. Different. <laughs> you're saying that, huh? Angels. I said there might be a plate with a chicken bone in front of you. That's why you're saying that, huh? Angels. Now, no. do you, now, do you have any physical evidence? No. No. But every one of you is saying, I believe that angels are there. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Now, when you're hugging your mother or father, actually, if you see you're far from your mother and father, correct? Because there are angels. Imagine you're walking on angels. Walking on their feathers. You're, because they're under you. They're over you. They're beside you. They're all around you. They're even in the front of you. Correct? They're even yeah. behind you. <laughs> no. Yeah. Why you said no? They must be going at they must be being aside. No, they're everywhere. Top of you, under you, behind you. They're everywhere. They're all, all the time looking after you. That's why wherever you go, angels are going with you. Right? Yeah. Yes. 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 Right. And this is what Paul is saying in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Our under, uh, sorry, 5, 16 and 17. Our understanding is not through physical senses, but our understanding is through the spirit. Now, if I say, uh, Jade, behind your, you know, behind in your wall, behind you, there are two female spirits. I can see two female spirits. Demonic spirit behind you. Will you believe me? No. No? Now everyone is laughing. Otherwise? <laughs> now, when the, if, 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 example, if I say there are two demonic spirits behind you, now can you feel them? No. If, 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 because if you see, we can't feel the spiritual things, so we believe that spiritual things are actually not real. Because only the physical things are the reality. 
Yes. That only physical things are reality. The spiritual is also the reality, but it is not vis visible. It is not tangible. Yeah. Yes. But they are real. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the spiritual realm is more superior than the physical realm. Because the physical realm, I said, is very limited. Very limited. But the spiritual sense has the power to change the spiritual and to change the physical also. Hmm. Because the moment you respond with the word of God, now you will experience everything that God has for you. Yes? Yeah. Yes. So, you know, if you see angels are all around us, and this is only an example I'm giving, okay, about angels. Angels are all around us, and they, the Bible says they are ministering spirits who are serving us. Everywhere we go, they're around us. That's why yeah. the scripture says God has put his angels charge over. Yeah, and they will keep you in all your ways. Means wherever I go, wherever I step into, I am blessed. Everywhere I go, I am blessed. Yes? Yeah. Bless God. Thank you, Jesus. But if you say examples, someone came and told me the other day, if you put sanitizer, sanitizer, okay, hand sanitizer on this part now of your skin, it will become dark. It will become dark. Yeah. Now, what should be the thinking? I will not put it over there. Yeah. Now, I said, if Christ, and who's saying this? My very best friend. Okay. I said to him, if Christ is with me, Christ is in me, Christ is for me, then who can be against me? Because by the stripes and the wounds of Jesus, I am healed. And if you see, my skin is more brighter than it was before. Amen. Amen. Now, when you are seeing that, okay, is the physical coming, speaking so many things? Yes. Yeah. That's why actually I, I never have a habit or washing my hands before eating food. Never. I never wash my hands. No, I'm not saying do not, do not wash your hands. But we do it out of fear because we are more focused on physical evidence rather than the spiritual evidence. Yeah. As I told you, we think that the visible is the reality. No, the unseen also is the reality, but it is not visible. It is something that is invisible. But I can see the unseen through the eyes of faith. There is a way I can see the unseen. But these unseen things, we think seeing, the word see, means physical eyes. But the word see does not only have S-E-E, -E, see, seeing, I'm seeing. It does not only have to be through physical eyes, it can also be through the spiritual eyes where I'm looking, where I'm seeing the unseen through the word of God. Yes? Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Thank God. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, I'll show you what is physical evidence. Okay. Now, all those have turned your videos on. Okay, there are four of you with your videos on. I can tell all four of you have looked yourself into the mirror today. Guess what? Yeah. That? Wait. Yes. Why? Only an example, okay? Maybe you saw me. Yeah. But only it's an example. example. Okay, now I'm saying you all saw yourself into the mirror. Now why I'm saying why I'm saying that is because I can see if if I'm seeing the physical evidence, the physical evidence is saying all your hair is all nicely combed. That means you saw yourself into the mirror. Yes, mirror. yes, that's how it works with the word of God. That's called physical evidence. I have evidence that I'm telling you. You saw yourself into the mirror. In the same way, what is the spiritual evidence? The spiritual evidence is the word of God. And to understand the true personality of mind, to understand the true nature of mind, it is through the word. 
So write down. To the level of understanding to the to the level of understanding I have I have I have to the level of understanding I have of the system of the system. Okay, Scott. Okay, someone can put it in the chat. Thank you, Jesus. Putting that the level way. of understanding I have of the system from God's kingdom of the system from God's kingdom. I have a level of understanding. To the level of understanding I have of how of God of the system from God's kingdom is indicating that is indicating that. Is indicating that. Is indicating that. I have seen the unseen. I have seen the unseen. Because to know the system, I have to see the unseen. To know how the system of planting the seed works. To know the system of speaking the word of God. To know the system of how I become prosperous. To know the system. So many you know, to know the laws and principles, I have to look into the word because the more I start looking at the unseen, the more I will understand how the system works of the unseen. That's why how many of you like maths over here? I know the answer already. Before you came into the word, no one will like. Now, everyone loves. Now, when you see maths, uh, you do a lot of, you know, big, big subjects. You know, multiplication, division, fractions, correct? Yeah. Yes. Now when you're doing all this. First time you try, did you get the complete method of how it works? No. 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 But the more you practiced it, the more you understood. The basic example I would give is, we have multiplication. Yes? Yes. Now multiplication works on method. They teach with method. Now, yeah. first time you practiced, how many of you got the method right? No. But the more you practiced, the more you got the system right. Correct? Yes. Yes. How? Because you understood how the system works. You understood how it works. How we multiply, then how we do the method. That is called how understanding the system. That's what you wrote down. So in the same way, I can't stay. I came into the word of God. I understood everything. Faith, healing, blessing. I understood everything. No. The more I understand, the more I get revelation in, in my everyday life, the more I will see the life of God working in me. That's when I will experience what God has for me. That's when I will understand the system because when I obey the system, surely there will be result. Yeah. Papa would always give this one example. If you are going to put reverse gear and expect to go in front, will it work? You will go and smash the car on a lamppost or on a yeah. bridge, correct? Yeah. But if you put the gear forward, first gear, and imagine to go backwards to park the car, where you'll go, you'll go front and bash, correct? Yeah. Yes. Now, you did not understand how the system works. The moment you understand how the system works, then now you will understand how the kingdom of God works. Because the kingdom of God works on a system, on a principle. That's why, how can I understand the principle? You wrote down when I look at the things which are unseen, not at the things which are seen. 
if you wrote down to the level of understanding i have of the king of the system from god's kingdom is indicating that i have seen the unseen so are you understanding any questions any doubts Praise God. Okay, any testimonies? Any testimonies? No. Praise God. Okay, so we can close this session then. Thank you, Jesus. We we'll close with the prayer. Does anyone want to do the ending prayer? Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you. Alistair? Yeah. Today is Papa Johnson's birthday. Ah, okay. Today? Yes. Today, yes. yes. We have to say something, yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I, 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 I do not know. But I wish yeah. him already. Yeah. We, we, we can uh, sing a song and we can send him the uh, recording afterwards. Like how we did last year also. I think we did the same also. Yes. Right. Did it. Yeah, last last year also we did this card. Yeah, I did not because you know what, what, how they did it. Like you know, everybody in the Zoom because they says uh like your own testimony, like how you feel like when you come to the kingdom of the <coughs> sorry word of God with Papa Johnson. So mostly people have share, gave given their own testimonies. So what I was wondering if anyone from our group. We, since we started, like how our life changed. So, in a few words, can we do that? Yes. Or do you have a time or you have to join the another? Yeah. No, no, no. What I'm saying, do you want to join the another section or do you have enough time? I have enough time. Yeah, I have a lot of time, plenty of time. Me too. Do you have enough time, Alistair? We, we can do, we can do, no problem. Yeah. Yes. So, just to say, like, few in the few words how your life has changed and then we can do the one uh, birthday song and then we can do the recording or I mean whatever. like testimonies you mean I thought you meant about singing the song if testimonies I don't think I will have enough no 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 what I'm saying to you okay just a few words saying it how your life has been changed you know when since the teaching of Papa John like you know through Papa Johnson how you gone so who is there Jade is there yeah. Up to you if you have enough time, Alistair. No, I have to go for the next class. That's why. Yeah. Okay, no worries. no worries. Yes. Okay. Then we will end and then we'll sing a song. Okay, we will end. We will sing the song and then tomorrow we can share the testimonies. Is that okay? And then we'll send it. Yeah, no problem. Testimony means how your life has been changed. That's it. Okay. Oh, you can do of... one thing. Or you can do one thing. Yeah. You can send the voice today recording of your testimony and put it on the Warriors for Christ and then we will send it to Papa. Papa is there on that. He will be able to see that all what you have sent. Yeah, because today he what he said for his birthday, he wants everyone who are, whoever is on the Zoom, right? They started the Zoom. He will be, that is the gift for his birthday. It's that how it goes, okay? That's what it is. So anyway, okay. it's fine. Okay, Praise so what God, you do yes. is everyone, you, you can make a voice recording and send it all on the Warriors for Christ and then it will, he can see. Yes, that's how it's going. Yes, Praise Jesus, yes. Go on, Alistair. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Okay, Thank so close with the prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us this wonderful truth. Thank you, Lord, for revealing to us your word. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us, leading us, teaching us. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the revelation, giving us the interpretation of your word, Lord. Lord, as we have understood this word, thank you, Lord, for revealing to us the secrets and the mysteries from your word, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father, for this wonderful time which we have spent with your word. And as you have spent this time, thank you, Lord, for revealing to us the secret mysteries from your word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father, 
In Jesus' name we pray, Abba Father, believing that you have heard and answered us. Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, praise God. So we can pray in tongues. Thank you, Jesus. Who 